What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Amir's Football Corner. And today we are going to be speaking about the final day of the Premier League season tomorrow, Sunday the 22nd of May. All games are kicking off at 5 p.m. All teams are playing their last game against each other and it's going to be an extremely exciting day because there is a title race going on between Manchester City and Liverpool. There is a battle for top four, although in my opinion it's already been decided um, from the last week, last game week's results. And there is a battle for European spots in the Europa League, in the Conference League. And very exciting, there is a relegation battle um, at the bottom of the league who will secure their place in the Premier League next season, who will secure their spots in Europe next season in the European tournaments, who will be in the Conference League, who will be in the Europa League, and who will be in the Champions League. Most importantly, who will win the Premier League 2021-2022 season? Let's find out tomorrow. Well, we can't find out now. We'll have to wait for tomorrow. Anyway, we're going to be speaking about the fixtures uh, for tomorrow. I'm going to go through them on the official Premier League app on my phone. And we are going to go through each game. I'm going to speak about them in the order in which they are situated in the app. Okay, so first up, Arsenal against Everton. Now, Arsenal are currently in uh, fifth position. They have a chance to secure fourth. However, that depends on the game between Spurs and Norwich. So the situation is Arsenal have to win to stand a chance to get into fourth place for uh, a Champions, Champions League spot for next season. Uh, they have to beat Everton and Spurs have to lose against Norwich. If Spurs get a draw against Norwich, no Champions League for Arsenal next season. Uh, and of, of course, if if Spurs win, that's that's over. But Arsenal have to win uh, in order to stand a chance. Next game, Brentford versus Leeds. Now, Leeds is in a relegation battle. Very exciting. I would like them to stay up. I like Leeds as a team. Uh, but Brentford have been very strong this season. Uh, for me, they made the signing of the season um, uh, with Christian Eriksen uh, coming in. And not only... A big signing for Brentford. They managed to get that right. But also he completely transformed the um, the story of their season. Uh, they've been quite su successful. Um, uh, I can't remember the manager, Frank. Someone, his surname is Frank. But he's, uh, he's done a good job this season. They've, they've performed quite well. And they are safe from relegation, of course. Uh, next game, Brighton versus West Ham. West Ham is, have also impressed the season. They have beaten very big teams. Uh, I think all of the top six they've beaten this season. Uh, Brighton similarly have done very well this season. Uh, West Ham uh, reached the semi-final of the Euro Europa League. Um, uh, they played a few weeks ago, but unfortunately didn't reach the final. Uh, but they have been very impressive this season. So that's going to be ex an exciting game. Burnley uh, in a relegation battle. This season, Burnley are in 17th spot, so just one spot above the relegation zone. But they are level on points with Leeds, who are in the relegation zone in 18th spot. So, um, lots to look out for tomorrow um, in that fixture uh, between uh, West Ham and um, uh, who did I say? <laughs> uh, Burnley, uh, Newcastle, and Burnley. Sorry. Um, Chelsea versus Watford. Watford are already relegated and Chelsea are already in Champions League football. So not much uh, that can come from that fixture. The next one, Manchester United uh, go away to Crystal Palace. And um, yeah, my fellow United fans, I think most of them agree with me that uh, they are, we are going to lose tomorrow. Uh, when the game kicks off at five, uh, Patrick Vieira for me, uh, with an exception of the last game when they were 2-0 ahead at halftime and uh, then lost to Everton 3-2, uh, 
Uh, with the exception of that game, Patrick Pierre for me has been the manager of the season, uh, undoubtedly. Um, y- yes, you could argue that Pep and Klopp are, uh, are in uh, a race for manager of the season, but for me, the guy that has exceeded the most expectation has been Patrick Vieira. So, um, exciting game, but uh, I think we know the result and Manchester United, as far as I'm concerned, our season's over. I just hope we secure a Europa League spot instead of a Conference League spot. Uh, next game, Leicester against Southampton. Again, I think much to play for. I think uh, Leicester will go on with the three points, but Southampton have shown to cause problems for the bigger teams or relatively bigger teams uh, to them. Liverpool against Wolves. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Liverpool need to win and Manchester City need to draw or lose uh, for Liverpool to win the title. Um, I think they will win. So uh, I think Liverpool will take the three points. So I think we can bet on that. However, the next game is very interesting as well because Manchester uh, City is playing against Aston Villa. And if you know your stuff, the manager of Aston Villa is former Liverpool player and current Liverpool legend, uh, Steven Gerrard. And he would want to play a part in Liverpool's title win, although he's not playing for them. Um, Philippe Coutinho also plays for Aston Villa, formerly of Liverpool. So I think um, the, the objective is um, enhanced because if Aston Villa beat Manchester City and Liverpool take their points from Wolves, Liverpool will be crowned Premier League champions and will be well on their way uh, to a quadruple uh, with just the Champions League final against Real Madrid to come. So um, Manchester City have to beat Aston Villa. Uh, If they do take the three points, Manchester City will be the Premier League champions. If they don't, my guess is Liverpool will will capitalize on that, taking three points from Wolves, and they will be the Premier League champions. Something that I don't want to happen because the, my money is on them to win the Champions League, uh, if I'm being completely honest. Real Madrid, um, uh, the opponents in the Champions League final, they are very strong, and they have caused a few upsets, but if we're speaking about uh, going for it, I think Liverpool are going to take the Champions League uh, as well. So, Man City, please do me a favor. Um, noisy neighbors, but uh, yeah, please please help me out. And then lastly, a game I've mentioned uh, before, um, Norwich are at home to Spurs. And um, Norwich are already relegated, so I, I don't know if they're going to go down fighting but I think Tottenham Hotspur are going to take the three points. So those are the fixtures for tomorrow. A very exciting final day of the Premier League. I hope you enjoy it tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm certainly certainly going to be focusing on uh, the, the important and interesting games. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it tomorrow. I'm certainly going to enjoy it. I'm going to kick up my feet and watch the last day of the Premier League. And um, yes, one day um, I'm going to look back on yes, yesterday, and, uh, on tomorrow at least. I'm going to look back and it's going to be one of the most exciting endings to the, the Premier League. I think. I think it's... Yeah, it hasn't been as exciting as uh, this in a long time um, because there are battles all over the, the league. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you in the next one. Uh, good luck for your teams tomorrow. And uh, yes, I'll speak to you again in the next video. Cheers.